I have lived in this valley for 15 years and um, I had some uh, tragedies in my life. So I, when I sold my ranch out in Buellton, I thought to start over a life, I think I should go to Santa Fe. And I've been going there forever, for over 20 years. And I thought, I'm gonna move there, take, take my art, there's all artists. So I went there for eight months, went through the winter, <laughs> went through the fall, went through the spring, and I decided I couldn't get San Inez Valley out of my mind. My subject matter has always been primarily horses. Even growing up in Brooklyn, New York, I, people couldn't believe that I was a horse artist. Where did I see them? And I saw them in the riots. I saw them on police, mounted police. That's where I saw horses. So I was always inspired by them. And then when I moved to California in 1988, I finally discovered the San Inez Valley. And they're everywhere. And I went, oh my God, it's like heaven on earth. the natural beauty of this valley. It's sort of the, the first layer just to come in terms of, oh my God, this is the most incredible place people have ever seen because everyone says it. Well, we have some of the finest artists, I'd say, in the world. I mean, I've been a lot of places now and like I said I just came back from Santa Fe and the artists there are tremendous but when I came back here once again I started looking and going oh my god we have a collection of such fine artists of all type here Once you go outside and you start to see what we're surrounded by, the art, the food, the wine, and the people. <laughs> I'm living the life. <laughs>